Welcome back to Three Months of Modal Logic, the sequel to 100 Days of Logic, here with Cardinities.org. Today we are going to be doing the final video in our second month on Modal Logic of November. It's going to be Alchemist Branches of Temporal Logic. We're going to be kind of expanding on the idea of branching temporal logics here. So, the system of branching temporal logic that we will examine here is attributed by Arthur Pryor to Occam of Occam's Razor. We will not get into the specific axioms of this theory here, but rather just explain how you can express particular propositions using Occamist branching temporal logic. So let's take a look. Often branching temporal logic uses kind of this diamond and this square that we've seen in Alethic Modal Logic to denote there exists some future timeline and for all future timelines, respectively. So that we don't confuse these with our Alethic Modal Logic operators, here with Carnades, we're going to use kind of a filled-in diamond to represent there exists some future timeline and a filled-in square to denote for all future timelines. To be clear, that means that box P means that P is the case at this moment in all possible future timelines. Similarly, diamond P means that there exists some possible future timeline in which P is the case at this moment. Box I will eat ice cream tomorrow means that in all possible future timelines at this moment, it is true that I will eat ice cream tomorrow. No matter what else happens, I will be eating ice cream at some point tomorrow. Furthermore, these symbols can be combined with our future tense operators. So it's not quite clear, at least to me, how they could be combined with our past tense operators. So, it's possible in some future timeline that it's always going to be the case that G means that in some future timeline, P will be the case at all future moments. Box UPQ means that in all possible timelines, P will be the case until Q is, and diamond F you will eat cake means that in some future timeline, at some point in the future, you will be eating cake. Probably a true statement. Now, just as any non quantified symbols in modal logic apply to the actual world, symbols without a branching temporal quantifier will apply to the actual future. If you're confused on that, watch the previous video. So, FP implies there exists some possible future such that FP is basically telling us that there is an actual future, or rather the actual future is a possible future, or that if something happens in the actual future, then it must happen in a possible future. Basically, this is comparable to saying that the actual world is a possible world. Once again, check out the Alethic Modal Logic videos if you're curious. Now, for one big example to kind of give you a really good sense of the way this representation is going to work, imagine that you are the only person in all of history who can invent immortality. In every possible future where you die before you get to the age of 100, humans will not have achieved immortality when you die, because clearly you die, and never will in any future timeline. So, we can represent that by, in all future timelines, it's not the case that you live until you are 100 years old, implies that it's not the case for any future timeline, there is any point in the future such that you are dead and there exists some human such that for all moments in the future of that timeline, that human will live. Hopefully that makes sense. We tried to use a bunch of different operators there and give you a little bit of sense of how they interact with other kinds of modal quantifiers. All right, now, I wasn't completely truthful because this is not the final video with temporal logic. Or at least it's not the final video for time. In the next video, we're going to be looking at 
a very important paper and a very important idea in time, which is McTaggart's famous, The Unreality of Time. It doesn't have a great deal of bearing on temporal logic other than the fact that it has to do with time. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay tuned for one more full month all December long where we're going to be continuing with the three months of modal logic. And as always, stay skeptical, everybody.